Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can switch between dark and light themes for your Blazor WebAssembly application. For this demo, I've already created two CSS files for my light and dark theme. The first CSS file that I've created is app-light.css, which will be the default theme for my application. And I've also created app-dark.css, which is the dark theme of my application. And I've added these references in my index.html file in head tag for my place of purpose in the application. And I've also set the IDs of these links so that we could find these links and add and remove them from our JavaScript function. And that's what we're trying to do in this JavaScript function. This JavaScript function is set theme, which takes theme name as parameter. And we're adding a CSS link and removing the old theme which was set for the application. To add the CSS link, we need to first create that link. So we are creating a link element and then we are setting the ID which is theme and then relationship is style sheet of course. And then we have type which is CSS and depending on the parameter which client is sending, we will set the CSS reference for this link that we are adding. But before we add that to the head tag, I would like to remove the theme, which is already set. So I'm going to get the head tag. So if I go to my index.html here, we have this head tag. So we are getting that head tag. We're trying to find theme link in that head tag. And we're removing that before we add the new theme for our application. And once we call the JavaScript function from a Razor component, then we should be able to change the theme of our application right away. So if you look at this application now, I'm gonna log in into the application, go to settings page, and once I change the checkbox, then it changes the theme of the application right away. Let's try to do that in our application. So currently, if I go to my application, log in into the application, go to settings page and change this switch. Nothing is happening. It's saving the record in the database. That's fine, but it's not changing the theme of our application. Let's go ahead and check the themes that I've already added. For that, I'm going to go to my index.html here. So I've already added these CSS files and one is for light theme another is for dark theme let's check the dark theme which is i have added in my application i'm gonna uncomment this theme and let's see how it looks and then we'll create the switch so i'm gonna refresh my page and you can see that the dark theme gets applied for my application if i go to different pages dark theme works just fine I'm going to uncomment the dark theme and keep light theme as the default theme. Now let's go ahead and create a JavaScript function, which is going to help us switch between these themes. For that, I'm going to go to my JS folder, open my site.js. And here I'm going to create a function that I'm going to name as set themes. I'm going to say this is set theme method, which takes theme name as parameter. And here we will add a new CSS link and remove the old theme from the head tag. So here we'll add a CSS link which user wants us to set and then we'll remove the one which was already set. So to create a link, I'm going to add some code here. I'm not going to type it. There are a lot of magic strings here. I don't want to make any mistakes. So here I'm going to use document to create an element, which is going to be link. And then we're going to set the attribute ID to theme. This is important because we're going to try and find that link by this ID. So we're going to need to set the attribute ID to theme so that we could be able to find it. Now, we're going to set the relationship to style sheet. We're going to set the type to CSS and the reference of the CSS file is depending on the parameter that client is sending. So depending on what theme client wants us to set, we are going to pass that as parameter to the file name that we are adding as reference in our index.html file. 
Now, before we add this link in our head tag, we would like to remove the old theme which is already set. For that, I'm gonna first get the head tag and then I'm gonna use query selector to remove that theme. So I'm gonna get the head tag by using get element by tag name and then I'm gonna get the theme. I'm gonna get that CSS theme which is already set by the user and then I'm gonna remove it. And then the theme that user wants us to set right now, that's something that we're going to add as another link in our head tag. Now that's all we need to do in JavaScript function in order to set a new theme for our application. Now let's go ahead and call this JavaScript function from our razor component whenever we change the switch. So whenever I click on this rads and switch, I would like to change the theme. For that, I'm gonna go to my settings page here. And here I have this update theme function. I'm gonna stop the application. It sometimes throws errors. So here we have this method update theme, which is actually saving the theme of the user in the database. But we would also like to change the theme right away, right? This method is mapped to rads and switch. So this is the switch, which is setting the dark theme. And whenever we change that switch, I'm calling update theme, which is a C sharp function. And this is where we would like to call that JavaScript function so that we could change the themes. But before we call that JavaScript function, we would like to get the theme that user really wants us to set. So we can get that from the Boolean value, which is getting set to settings view model from the rats and switch. So let's try to do that. I'm gonna get that value. I'm gonna set our theme name is going to be depending on settings view model dark dark theme. If it is true, then I would like to pass dark as the theme that user wants us to set. If not, then I would like to set light theme. Now, we would like to pass this as parameter to JavaScript function that we would like to call. I have already called that JavaScript function. I've already called a JavaScript function from my profile page. So if you look at this function, which is download profile picture, I'm gonna copy that JavaScript function and paste it here. So I'm using lazy loading for calling the JavaScript function. First, I'm getting that JavaScript function. I don't want to load this JavaScript file when we first time load the application. So I'm gonna use lazy loading in order to call that function. We have already covered that topic. Once we get that file as module, then I would like to call this method. So I'm gonna pass the set theme as parameter here because we want to tell our .NET function which JavaScript function that we would like to call. And then I'm gonna pass the theme name as parameter so that we could set that as a theme to our JavaScript for our application. Let's run this and see if that works or not. So I'm gonna do a .NET watch run and then go to my application. I'm gonna log out. And I'll go to my application. And uh, you can see that by default, it's setting the light theme for our application. I'm gonna go to my settings page, and here I'm gonna change the theme. I'm gonna change it to dark and boom. You can see that the theme of my application changes right away for all the pages for my application. So if I change this back to light, it changes to light. If I change this to dark, it changes to dark. So whenever we are changing this switch, it's changing the theme of the application. It does have one issue though. So if I refresh the application, then doesn't matter what dark theme that the user has set, is going to set the default theme for the application, which is the light theme. We can fix that by setting the theme at main layout. So if I go to main layout, that's the first component, one of the first component which gets rendered. So if we check 
what's the theme that user has set there and set that theme when main layout gets loaded, then we can fix this issue. So whenever we refresh the application main layout will get called, it will check which user is authenticated, it will get the dark theme. If it's yes or no, depending on that, it will set the theme. So let's try to do that. For that, I'm gonna go to my main layout and here on on initialized, I'm going to first get the current user. To getting current user, I'm gonna get help of my custom authentication state provider. I'm gonna call a web API, which is going to get the current authenticated user of my application. So I'm gonna get the current user and then I'm gonna check if the current user is logged in or not. And if the current user is not null, then we would like to get the theme for that application, for that user. So I'm gonna set var theme name is going to be current user, dark theme. If this is equal to one, then I would like to set as dark, else I would like to set this as light. And we can call the same method. We can call the same JavaScript method to set the theme. So here, I'm going to pass that theme name when my application is loaded. So whenever I refresh the application, it's going to check who's the current user and depending on the dark theme, which is saved for that user is going to get applied for my application. Let's try to see if that works or not. I'm gonna log out from the application, then I'm gonna log back in. I'm gonna first refresh my bits here so that it gets the latest bits. And now if I go to my settings page, you can see that dark theme is set and that's the reason why dark theme is set for the application. I'm gonna uncheck the checkbox is going to set the light theme. I'm gonna refresh the application. Then also it keeps the light theme. I'm gonna set it to dark theme and then refresh the application. Then also it sets the dark theme for my application. If I log out, it's going to remember which theme this user has set. So I'm gonna log out and then log back in again with John Smith. It's going to get that current user, find out what's the theme that user has set and apply that theme whenever the main layout gets loaded. So this is how you can set different themes. I have only shown light and dark theme, but you can literally have a drop down here to change multiple themes and change themes for your application. I learned this trick from my friend Ed Shrabna and he has written a book in uh, um, for Blazor concepts and different tricks for Blazor. I have added the link of that ebook in the video description, please check that out. If you have any questions, you can ask those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.